Welcome back, guys, to... Oh, hang on. <laughs> Damn it. Episode 33. Wow. Did you know that there... Wait, seriously? 33? I have to double-check this. I've never been up to... Oh, hang on. Why do I have two things of 30? Uh, I've messed up at some point. 29th of January... Okay, this must be 34, I guess. Huh. Oh well. Um, I've messed up at some point. Anyway. Uh, uh, look how many there are. We've got so many chickens here that the thing has overflowed again. And I said that I would kill them right after that happens. So, what we're going to do is... Uh, murder them mercilessly, I guess. Why not? Um, so in order to do that, we're going to need some sticks. Put that out of the way, put that there, throw that away. Um, iron sword should do. Why not? Uh, and yeah. How are we doing today? Good. Good, good, good. <laughs> um, I... And wondering why they aren't dying. To be honest, uh, hmm. Or well, maybe they are. Okay, there we go. So this is working a bit better. I think they—it was just a little bit of lag. They weren't quite where I thought they were. Yeah, listen to that noise. Although it is being rather slow about it. Maybe I'm like hitting the ones that are dying and it's messing up because it's still doing durability on my sword. Um, ah, look at that. That didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would. Um, as well as, let's see, we will pop that out and take that. And we can probably just put the feathers right there. Okay. Yay! I was about to go put them in the furnace and then realize that I don't have a furnace anymore that's set up. Um, yeah, so today's episode, uh, I think I said that we're going to start working on the Tesseracts, that might be the, uh, the thing to do, that way I can pump power directly, um, into the processing area if I want that, um, I'm a little bit distracted right now, one second, okay, never mind, I didn't make two things of episode 30, um, I just happened to have an extra folder there. I was, like, judging how many episodes I've done by how many folders I've got full. Um, and yes, so, as I was saying, we we're going to start working on the Tesseract. Uh, I actually want to start emptying out some of my, um, some of the items that are in my inventory. They're in the way, and I don't like it. Uh, but yes, so, the lava farm is all set up now. Um, the reason why I've got it out of the way, you may be wondering a little bit, um, it's not the main source of power that I want to be using for this area. Like, it's, you can kind of see it, you're, well, you can see it from there directly. Um, I thought it was a little bit further away, but I've got this nice lovely area that's already been semi-mined out. Um, and I was planning to use that for my different sources of power that would be, like, kind of renewable. Um, some of it will come from the farm. We're going to have some, uh, what's it called... Uh, the still and the fertilizer thingy. It comes from plant matter, the plant balls. Um, yeah, like turning saplings, or uh, turning extra saplings and extra seeds into a uh, nice, lovely, renewable energy. So that would be cool. Um, I always forget to make these things start um, mining down. <sighs> feels good though, making it do that. And you can tell that it's been long enough that, like, some of the ones that don't have um, saplings on them, they turn into sand as well. Like, it's not supposed to happen, but it does. Um, if you have the machine on for long enough, I don't think it ever does. But you can see that some of these will never have saplings on them because the saplings is on this one. But it's been long enough for the thing to turn into... Okay, don't worry. <laughs> I'm running around in circles in my words, and it's not good. Um, and probably put this over here. 
I just love seeing this one run, because this one's cool. Bam! Uh, yeah! Uh, look at that, go! Yay! And since it's been long enough, um, both of them can run at the semi the same time. Um, and they both have enough power, I think. But look at that, that is cool. And of course, all of that is going into these chests. I haven't set up the way that these things run off to. Um, like, at the moment, I'll have it so that all saplings, no, all seeds that I don't need, um, will automatically, uh, hang on. All seeds that I am not using to refill this farm will end up going and turning into plant matter, etc, etc. So, anyway, um, as I was saying before I got confused and distracted and whatnot, um, I won't worry about that, I'm kind of bothered. Uh, we were going down here and we were looking at lava. Um, I did get a little bit confused there and I'm still slightly confused on what kind of point I was trying to make. I swept over, nah, switched over to steak because uh, I ran out of potatoes. Um, what I wanted to see was whether or not this thing was staying full and I think it is. If we have enough lava going through this thing will stay there. Um, its power is supposed to be at full, but I think this thing had to go into cooldown mode. And the reason why we use geothermal generators is that if you use magmatic engines, like you can power the magmatic engine directly, and the magmatic engine will go straight back to the transposer. Um, the magmatic engines tend to jam if this thing will stay at full power a lot, and I just can't handle that at the moment. Um, like, chances are this lava tank will take ages to fill up and it won't ever jam. Um, but if it doesn't get enough of the liquid that it's trying to put in there, like it just got one now, if it's not getting enough of those, um, it will stay at full power for too long and the thing will jam. These electrical engines will never jam. They just go into cooldown mode. They can't blow up. Which is the reason why I like using them. Um, and that's more or less fine. This thing seems to be staying, uh, staying full, um, and this lava here seems to be staying at the maximum anyway, so that's kind of nice. Um, so with that we can pop down here. And we can see it's slightly, uh, getting slightly higher, I like it. 9 by 9 by 8 that is an incredible amount of um, lava that can be stored there. Uh, what I want to do, when we're using the tesseracts, um, I'll end up connecting it like somewhere along here, kind of out of the way. Um, I'll stick in a gate or a valve in the wall here and then the tesseract will be right beside it or I'll have to use a liquid duct depending on whether or not it works like that. And then it will transport lava directly to wherever I want it to go. Um, so for proof of concept later on I'll probably set it over here and I'll have a whole ton of magmatic engines that will go power up a whole bunch of, um, what's it called? I've forgotten what they're called already. These things, redstone energy conduits, and then that will go into a tesseract itself and it will go off and power up the, um, the tree farm and the seed farm, and hopefully I won't have to worry about it. Um, it should be more or less fine. But yes, um, I'm just testing. And true to fashion, I've managed to talk for almost 10 minutes before I've actually done anything. I've just kind of explained things. Um, so give me a second and we'll get on to something cool. Okay, so I've got my aluminium stone and some diamonds. What I'm going to end up doing, I'm going to end up... Um, I'm going to go take that... Uh, damn it, I've forgotten the words again. I need my magma crucible there we go that's the word um that was over here i'm not going to end up using it with this thing anyway since i've got that lava farm set up and as soon as i can get my um oh, don't worry i've forgotten the words there's no point trying now <laughs> okay um so it was down to gold oh down to iron And then was it four? Yeah, it was four of these. 
So we'll balance that out. Um, and I'll just take out a few of these little guys. What we want to do is put them into the magma crucible. And with that we can get molten ender. Right? Yes, okay, that is correct. Um, I just wanted to make sure because I've never actually done this before. So, Molten Ender. Oh, Jesus, you take quite a few, don't you? Um, so maybe I'll end up having to make more. Um, why not? Why not? So we'll put that in there. See, the ones that I put in there wasn't enough anyway. Uh, so we've got that in there. That's fine. Then we need the, uh, the Liquid Transposer. But we don't have one of those anymore because I've got them... Uh, working on the lava farm, so we're gonna have to go make some more of those. <sighs> it's gonna be an episode where I cut a lot because I can't be bothered doing it on screen. Mainly because it wastes so much time. Um, yeah. Okay, one second. I've kind of just realized how little tin I have right now. Um... <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to have to set up my um, my turtles in like another world or something and have them ravage that place. That would make it a lot easier for me. Um, anyway, so I've got a few things here. Um, unfortunately, I used all of my hardened glass on the liquid ducts, or I think I did. That's what I seem to remember. Um, so I've got to create some more of those because we're going to be creating... And I forgot my diamonds, damn it. Um, we're going to be creating some tesseract frames. Then we're going to fill that with liquid tesseract. Or molten tesseract. Oh, no, molten ender. Um, that will give like the whole teleporting feature to it. It's actually like a lot more expensive than teleport item frames. Or that, yeah, teleport pipes. There we go. And um, also more uh, expensive than ender chests, I feel, but... That's just me. Um, now, what was I saying? I needed some of these diamonds. May as well take them. Um, bronze, not so much. Ferrous, no. Copper. We've got tons of copper, but we've got, like, no tin. I've got some tin there. Why not? Why not take a little bit more? Um, what I would do right now to have those pants that help you run faster. Um, the quantum quantum leggings. That would be great. Um, so up, around, down, and then right, and then right, across through here. Um, then... Yeah, see, it ended up stopping because it just has so much here. Too much cobble, too much that, too much sand. Um, unfortunately, I don't want the sand in there right now because I want to put in my obsidian and some lead. That will give us the hardened glass. Um, so here is the recipe for an attuned tesseract. We need the molten ender to put it into a tesseract frame. In order to use that, we need tin ingots. Hardened glass and diamonds. Um, so we've got some there. Tin ingots, hardened glass, and diamonds. Um, sort inventory. Move them out of the way. Um, take out our nice, lovely hardened glass. And we needed tin in the corners, didn't we? One, two, three, four. Look at that. Tesseract frame. So we've got one of these guys. Uh, then with that, we need to put him right beside this guy. Oh, no. We're going to need more than one of these. Um, oh, I didn't make the... Oh, stupid person. Stupid me. Um, okay, not a problem. What we need is some glass. And I don't have it in there. I don't have it in there. Do I have it in here? No, I don't. <sighs> oh, well, there are. there is some other things that are part of the recipe that I can make. Um... So copper in the middle, redstone along the sides, or is it the other way? No? Really? What is this? Oh, gold. Day. Okay, we'll move that out of the way then. We'll put in some iron and our minium stone. And 
There we go. So that is almost it. Okay, we just need one. So we'll we'll leave that stuff out for now. Then the slot right there, like so. Then it is um, machine frame right there. We need a bucket, and of course I haven't made the bucket yet. Bucket up the top. Um, glass and copper. So we're I have some sand here actually. Do I have my um, my furnace down? Powered furnace. Look at that. That'll work just fine. We'll get some nice lovely sand from that. Um, well, glass from that rather. Um, now machine frame that goes there. Um, glass and copper. So that would be fine, that should be everything that I need. There we go, liquid transposer. Pop that right there. Um, that should receive things right there. That should put them out that side. There we go, some nice lovely molten ender right there. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't have any power. So we can fix that by going like this, um, and where is my, I don't have it do I? I need my crescent hammer but I appear to have left it uh, around here. Don't worry, we'll get there. Um, I just want to pop that up. We'll be fine. I'm going to have to make a few of these off camera too because these are supposed to be quite useful. I'm going to need two for every time I need like to transport lava, so that just alone is going to drain me dry. Um, in here, right. Anything else in here that I need? No. I do have a few pipes in there though, that could be useful. <sighs> and jump. Giving it's like scumbag Cory. Instead of like using his um, little pathway that he made, he just jumps over the fences with his silly little jetpack. Silly Cory. Okay. So we've got that across there. Uh, then we put that right there. Oops, I didn't mean to turn you, friend. Sorry. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> I moved him. And that was not the best idea, because he can't turn that way. And I don't want to shift right click him because he's got um, he's got this molten ender in him, which I need. Um, can I put you back into the other thing? Probably not. Anyway, that's one unattuned tesseract. Um, I'm gonna need to make another one just for you know being able to prove it. Um, pulverized lead, and I've turned that into the wrong thing entirely. Um, oh, because I need more than one of those, that's why I wasn't doing it. Okay, and we've got slag there, don't worry about that. Uh, now, as we were doing before, we're going to need to make another one of these tesseract frames, diamond in the middle, then hardened glass, like so. Um, diamond and tin around the edges. Look at that. <sighs> okay. Now, can I just put you in like so? You got no liquid or molten ender anyway, so that's going to be fine. Um, right, with this unattuned tesseract, let's see, what are your uses? Uh, we can make the energy tesseract, the liquid tesseract, or the uh, the item tesseract. I don't really want the item tesseract so much because it's cheaper to just make in chest and whatnot. Maybe I'll get sick of the electrical engines at some point, but um, I think first of all might be better if I uh, create the power one, maybe or the liquid one. Actually, we'll do the liquid one. That's the one that we're supposed to be doing anyway. Um, so liquid tesseract, copper on top, silver and tin and pneumatic servo. Okay, that isn't too bad, um, and I'm getting messages on Skype, go away people. <laughs> um, so we've got two of these untuned tesseracts, put these in the middle, 
Wait, no, we need to make the Anatune servo first, don't we? Um, no. Servo, thingamajig, thing. The <sighs> It's okay. Redstone in the middle, glass on the sides. Where's the rest of my glass? In here. Glass on the sides. I only need two of them, so we can not worry about the rest of that. Um, liquid Tesseract. Nope, nope, not that. Um, silver, tin, and copper. So I haven't got any silver on me. Why is it that uh, I need to like bring the book or like create another book into that room? That would be probably quite helpful. Um, hmm. Hmm. That's kind of the thing. I've never actually used silver for all that much. Um, okay. Right through. One, two. It appears to be raining outside. Oh. It's almost night time. Oh, I can sleep through the night. Sleep through the night. We'll reset it today. And without the rain, which would be nice. Um, then we go into here, we grab out our silver. We have so much silver. Um, that goes there. Turn across there. Pneumatic servo there. This here. Um, and it was copper on top, right? Wow. That is the first time I have ever uh, been able to remember a recipe just like that. I say as I click my thumb. Cool. Okay. So we can go through now. We can um, we can try out our thing before. Uh, I'm gonna need to replace a block that's in there. Um, hmm. I'll show you what I mean in a sec. I need to go over to the tank, and we're gonna be placing this beside it. Uh, but before that, we're gonna need to take out um, one of these, I suppose. How good would that work? No, I don't really want to do it there. Um, yeah, you know what? Screw it. Uh, pick. Now, see that all the lava has disappeared? That is okay, don't worry. I haven't wasted any. Um, it's just temporarily misplaced. So that should have fixed it, and I've still got all my lava back. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, I want to test whether or not I can just place this liquid tesseract here and I want to see if it can draw it out. Um, one. Oh, set frequency, okay. Um, let's make it 10, because why not? Um, and we'll say uh, lava, lava tank. Okay, so that is save frequency. Frequency 10 is lava tank, um, and I want to see whether or not it can directly take that like so, or whether or not I'm going to have to place a liquiduct. If I can save myself from using liquiducts themselves, that would be great. Um, but look at this, okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. I love that it, like, my base is kind of spreading out now, which is good. Um, but less so... Okay. Doesn't look like we can do it how I thought we would be able to, because it can't draw out things on, a dome, on its own. Um, I like that my base is spread out, but it does kind of annoy me when I need to run all the way to another part of my base to try and show you something. Okay. Don't worry, we'll be fine. Um, it's interesting to me because it doesn't obey the normal rules. Um, so... Oh, that's right, hang on. We need a redstone signal. So, do I have a lever in here? I certainly do. I was trying to think, why isn't it coming out on its own? In order to make it draw out things like that, you need to go like so. You need to right click on it so it has this mark here. That crescent shape means that it will take lava from there. And you need the lever to turn it on so it will actively try and um, take lava out. 
So put that into frequency 10. Um, that may have been why it wasn't working for me before though. Oh no wait, because I had to replace it, didn't I? Okay, by the way, it is now taking lava through there, so that will be fine. Um, you know it would be funny? Being able to put like molten ender into a tank. I reckon that would be so cool. Um, okay. Now we go across here. Will you put lava out like that? No, you won't. Okay. Um, are you... Oh, you're not set to work either. Okay. Um, are you enabled? Signal required low. You know what? We'll replace you because I don't think it's actually working like that. Um, I also think I'm going to have to move everything along one. Hopefully, um, it's not going to destroy that. There we go. Um, hmm. Hmm. Ah, uh, damn it. Um, this thing can't be powered like that. But can I stick this up here? No. I'm just going to have to turn it into the other mode. No energy for that. Shift right, oh, G right click. Um, because that's what I changed it to. And then move this long one. I didn't exactly have to. I kind of just realized. Um, but oh well. So here we go. That guy goes there. Then liquid duct goes here. Um, lava tank set frequency. Um, change that to receive configuration. Oh wait, yeah, this is this should be receive only. Okay, I'm kind of understanding these things a little bit more. <laughs> On ah, owner only. Um, set that to frequency ten. Receive only. Um, can I put down this now? That will be fine. Um, move that across. We're getting there. We're getting there. Don't worry. Hang on. Oh, that's right. This is only for power. Okay. So that should be fine now. Um, and then we need our nice lovely ender chest back. Put that there. Um, and you're on the wrong one completely. There we go. So when there are items in inventory, redstone signal, that will turn on when it can. Um, we'll take you out. So you're set to receive from the lava tank. We'll go back and we'll make sure that that's working. And then I think I might call it an episode because uh, it's almost half an hour gone now. And it did actually take a little bit longer to do this than I thought it would, so sorry about that. Um, Okay, so this thing should be uh, send only. Please work. Please, please, please. Are you taking lava out? Doesn't seem like it. Uh, I need a teleport book. Oh my um, I need, I need a ton and ton of diamond. That would be great. And then with that diamond, I could make a link book modifier. And then with that, I could do all kinds of magical things. Receive only. Work. Ah, damn it. Redstone control tab configures how this device reacts to redstone signals. Configuration tab depends... Are you receiving any kind of at all. Do you need power? You shouldn't need power. One second. Okay. This is really weird. Um, for whatever reason, it only seems to want to come out of this side. Um, okay, now it wants to go out that side. And okay, now that's working. That was really, really stupid, um, in my personal opinion. Uh, I tried all kinds of things. I tried like powering the, th the little liquid duct pipe so it would like try and extract it from there, but that shouldn't matter. 
Um, I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll try it again over here. It should be fine. In fact, I might even end up making some more um, some more videos for... Oh wait, no, because I can't do it on there, can I? Damn, okay. Don't worry. Um, so anyway, uh, here we go. Liquiduct. Oh, liquid trans... Blah, 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 blah. Liquid transport pipe. That doesn't appear to work. That's okay. We still need to... Voila! C'est magnifique. Well done. For whatever reason, it decided that it wants to work now. Um, so that'll fix itself. It's, it seems... I don't know. I said it's in receive mode, so... I guess that's working. Um, doesn't really seem to care. Every time it has stuff in here, it will appear to work. So all that's working nicely. Um, man, <laughs> that was just kind of frustrating. So yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, oh, just by the way, I should only need one liquid tester act like set by the lava tank, and the rest of these can just receive. So I shouldn't have to worry about that. Yay. <laughs> Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed today's ep uh, episode. I was sad to say episode and went video away at the end of it. Um, and I will see you guys next time for more nonsense. <laughs> uh, okay, catch you guys later.